All right, now we're going to look at the payback period, right? This just tells us when we're going to get our money back, okay? When you invest your money, all right, you want to know how long is it going to take for you to get your money back, all right? So we're still looking at machine Z here, all right? It costs 800,000, all right? It costs 800,000. So now we want to know when are we going to get our money back that is all so we're going to make a table here So put in a table, all right, we'll say years, cash flows, and the cumulative cash flows. So whenever you hear cumulative, it's just um, it's adding up, all right? So we'll be adding up the cash flows successively, all right? So we'll say years. Cash flow the cumulative cash flows. Okay. So we say year zero. This is when you pay, right? You have paid for the machine, all right. We paid the eight hundred uh, thousand, so we we'll put here negative eight hundred thousand, representing the cash outflow. All right. We've got the end of year one. You expect to receive hundred and fifty thousand. End of year two. You expect to receive two hundred thousand. We just come to check these figures are correct. Okay, they are correct. Right, so now we're going to get the cumulative cash flow. So what's just going to be happening here is first we're going to first start with our initial investment, all right? And you're going to say negative 800 plus 150, okay? Negative 800 plus 150, right? You're going to get negative 650, right? Negative 650. And you say negative 650 plus 200, Okay, you're going to get negative 450, right? Negative 450 plus 250, you're going to get two, negative 200. And 
then negative 200 plus 200, you're going to get zero. So you stop there, all right? You stop there, all right? So it's going to take four years, right? Four years to get our money back. Okay, it's going to take four years. All right? So for this one, we're going to compare it against the payback period for machine F. All right? Go to machine F. All right? We have our payback period already. Oh, both of them is four years. Okay. So also machine F, it's also four years. So um, you would have to compare the, the ARRs or the net present value to see which one is better for this one. Because as you can see, the payback period are the same. So it would be hard to choose which one you really want if you are using the payback period as the only investment appraisal technique. You then have to use another technique, right? And we did the others, the average rate of return and the net present value, and the internal rate of return. So we can make our decisions based on those values when we compare for the two machines. But as for the payback period here, it's going to take us four years to get our money 